Well, morning guys. Uh, this morning we got a unit in. I mean, it's a simple little fix. Uh, driver stating that the fuel gauge at the front is uh, going haywire. It'll go empty, full, so on and so forth. Uh, on these, the most probable cause is going to be the fuel sending unit inside the gas tank. On uh, these buses, the gas tank is in the very far back and the access port is in on the floorboard. So I'm going to remove the access plate on the floorboard and have to kind of... Well guys, this is the access port. It is roughly like six feet away from the back door from the rear exit door so let me go ahead and remove that plate and get uh, access to that fuel uh, fuel sending unit well guys uh, this has been previously removed or replaced uh, and the reason I can say that is uh, those Phillips, those Phillips head screws, uh, uh, they don't actually go with that tank. Uh, the original ones are eight millimeter little hex bolt. Uh, I guess these were stripped out for some reason, or um, I don't know. But all we know is <clears throat> they replaced the hex bolt with these Phillips head screws. So. All we gotta do here is basically get this con connector off. Basically, remove those five screws, and that sending unit will pop right out. And then, of course, we have to add the new one. So, let me take this one off real quick. I'm letting the fuel drain out of the sending unit. You see the sending unit, this long ass shaft, it's aluminum, there is a floater inside of it. So basically when you stuff this in the tank, fuel actually goes into the sending unit, making that floater go up, and of course that's how you get the reading, or that's how the gauge gets a signal of where it's at. So when instead of just pulling it out, it got two little holes in the very bottom. I have to kind of keep it inside the tank so that the fuel actually drains back into the tank. And it's kind of cool, I mean, I just found something out right now, I mean, these drivers are supposed to keep these fuel cells at three quarters or more at all times and I'm kind of glad this guy's doing it, I mean, this tank is all the way up to the rim, uh, I guess he just fueled up today, so, well, back there is an old sending unit uh, roughly what like 22 23 inches in length and this here is our new sending unit Roughly, well, not roughly, I mean, as you can see, they're identical. And you see, these screws were added onto this one. Look at this new one. Hex bolts. I'm going to try and see if I can get these hex bolts in there. But for whatever reason, the threads are damaged, then I am going to have to go back to using these Phillips head screws. But I guess we'll see what happens in a bit. Well guys, I guess this is the end for this one. I mean, you know, like I said, it was a very simple fix. Uh, when I remove that fuel sending unit, you can hear there's a whole bunch of like that float going up and down. You can hear it going and you can hear debris in there. So all that debris inside that tube 
was making this fuel thing and it just send the incorrect signals over to the gate and driver was complaining about it so since we do have a rule to keep I guess three quarter foil or more at all times well we have to fix them if not they'll use that as an, they'll use that as an excuse as to why they're not doing it basically the gauge is lying and they never know what the fuel level is like so we kind of have to address little issues like these just to keep them on their toes well guys i guess that'll be it for this one thanks for watching and uh well like and subscribe if you can all right